You've got to think long term, Ricky. If there's too much mileage or it's bad out of hell and you lose a day's work, then you've got to pay for the replacement. That's a 200 quid kick in the ball straight away. That's why you've got to go for something decent. I went for one of these. It's because it's bigger, which means I can get all the oversized parcels in. Flexibility, bonus, but it's still small enough that it doesn't affect your driving. I could do 24 hours straight in one of these. Yeah, but it's 14 grand. Now, I'll be able to have kittens, but I'm still paying a loan off as it is. But do the maths, right? A van like that's going to cost you, what, £400 a month? If you hire one from the company, that's 65 quid a day, every day. You need to find yourself nigh on a grand deposit for one of these vans. <laughs> no chance. You ever wondered where your gas comes from? You know, the stuff that cooks the perfect breakfast or heats your home. It's more interesting than you might think. Come on, I'll show you. In this lot, at Northern Gas Networks, they look after it all. Morning, pal. Green gas, such as hydrogen, could soon be used for cooking, heating and powering your vehicles. So that's not just good for the environment, but it's good for your bills. We're investigating Simon Thomas. You took him into custody. You know, the long-haired fella. Hi. I think he's the one that uh, did Ash in, put him in hospital. Just need a witness. Sit down, Constable. How long had there been tension? Ages. They weren't new. Most people went gladly. But there were some that weren't having it. Hmm. We knew about the squatters. They'd been sent down to clear them out before. I didn't expect this. We didn't have the gear for it. Were you angry? Of course we were angry. I'm still angry. Look what they did to Ash. That could have been any one of us. That could have been me. All the people for it to happen to him, Mike actually cared for them. He wasn't just doing his job, he actually cared. You like Mike? He's a top man. I'm proud to serve with him. You thought that Simon Thomas had assaulted him? So you wanted to pay him back for what he'd done? Is that what you think? You think I would give up my entire career to give a drug addict a good kicking? <laughs> You don't know anything about me. You don't know anything about any of us. Mr. Bunton? Can I help? We're here to inspect your television license. Look at that. What? Fox. Big fella. Any house with a television is required to have a license. Our radar van detected a line output transformer signal from this address coming from a cathode ray tube this time last week. Oh, I haven't got one of them. That's a telly. Oh, oh we've got one of them. And do you have a license? In what sense? In the sense of having one or not having one. Gentlemen, join me, Robin Hood, after the adverts. We'll see your license, sir. Don't need one. We only watch ITV, which is paid for by these. This is a mistake. I can go to the post office no in the morning. This is no mistake. It is a political act. Witness, I cannot receive the BBC. To the left. ITV. I've taken the band one coil from the turret tuna. Here we go again. My wife always supports me in private. Well, it the is law's the law, and no one's above it. Especially a nobody like you. Oh, you can't talk to me dad like that in his own house. Or what? All right, Captain. Do no worry, never think about it. You back again, stirring it. Who are you? Evening Chronicle. Well, by Free statute. TV for the OAP. <laughs> I like it. I was pleased. Not a lot rhymes with TV. I don't want this in the papers. He does. That's why I'm here. Well, by statute, anyone owning a television needs a license. Ah, but I have modified this set by removing the BBC coil, so I owe the government nothing. On the march. Well, I was there to support me son. My wife made a picnic. Sunday. Oh, easy. Quiz night. Right, left, right, left, right, left. I can 
tell some of you have done this before. Aye, 25 years ago. It's bloody boring then and all. Well, some of it was almost average. Well, what are you, Major Simpson? Thank you, Sergeant. Now, I'd just like to go through your basic training schedule for the coming weeks. 